Welcome everyone. In this session, I'm going to be talking about installing Microsoft SQL Server on Debian 12. So these are the instructions I found on how to forge the website, of course. Um, I did follow these and then was able to install. Well, I wasn't able to install because uh, Debian 11, Debian 12, there are some libraries missing. So I have created my own instructions. I will be posting this as well as a text on my Dropbox channel. I'll link it to this video. So let's get into this. I have the VM created, so I got a bunch of checkpoints as well. So this is a fresh install. There is nothing installed on it. So this is Debian, Debian 12. I'm going to start it up and we are going to connect to it. Once it's up and running, it's still running, it says. I think it is up now. Yes, it is up. So DB12 base. Go ahead and minimize that. Log into the terminal. And of course, hashtag TNT. And I always run as super user, so SU. So as you can see, I logged in with super user. So I don't have to type sudo all the time. So I'm going to clear this and let's get into this uh, i'm going to follow my instructions i've already done this um tried to fix the errors and whatnot so this gives me uh, a better handle in terms of uh, what i should be typing here for you guys to see so i might actually do this it's not too too intrusive all right, okay, so first of all, of course, uh, let's do APT update. I will be doing some copy pasting as well. So let's see if I can do this. Uh, yeah, why not? You, you guys don't need to see all the screen, right? So uh, let's see, uh, system CTL status. If I do MS SQL, you can see nothing has been installed. So there is no SQL server installed on it. It's just a base image of Debian, nothing on it. Uh, next, we're going to run, again, these are copied from that uh, How to Forge website. I just want to go over the bit where it fails in terms of uh, my uh, MS SQL. So this is Microsoft SQL, so I'm not my SQL, but MS SQL. I need this for something uh, to do with Power Automate and then Guacamole instance. I will be doing another session. You probably come here from that guacamole install where I was talking about installing MS SQL with a bunch of issues that you might run into. So I'll be doing that video later, but I want to do the MS SQL install first before the guacamole install. So I'll be doing guacamole install for version 1.5.3 right now. Yes, that's the version. Uh, so we're gonna just do that. Again, again, these instructions are all from how to forge. Uh, website. Uh, so 2019 on the website that they have, there's not this one. Uh, on the website they have is 2019 that they're talking about and it's Debian 11. But since 2022 is out, so we're going to install SQL Server version 2022. So for that, you'll have to use this command. Let's just do this and copy. And we're going to paste. Next again, always do apt update. Then we're going to install a SQL server and the dash y flag is forces all the required libraries is installed. So you don't have to hit yes. If you skip the, if you skip the y part, it'll ask you to accept. So it's going to do the install. It's a relatively quick install, at least or for my virtual machine here that I have. Once that is done, we need to configure the setup uh, or I can skip to the error part and then we can do this later, but let's just do the setup. So we'll have to do this again, possibly. So again, you do the setup. So what, what do you want to install? Evaluation, developer, express, web, since I don't have any of these standard licenses, um, I will be using express for my case, for my guacamole install. So I'll be using Express, CES, so you gotta agree to the terms. Choosing English. Um, and of course, uh, I, I did this mistake where I copied this. So I did copy 
and I paste it in here and it didn't work so I will have to type it sadly it didn't uh, I think it probably put some extra uh, characters or something I think I screwed that up let's see please sub to my channel while I do this please do that thank you I will appreciate that my channel and that is it so now the sequence server is set up so here we go um it says it's all done right but then you go about it starting it up it says failed you are going to run into this on debian 12 for sure because debian 12 is it's got the newer libraries in there so for L, uh, for ldap it's got the newer libraries in there it doesn't want to run so if you look at the more details if you can look at what the errors are you can type this command and you can see right here it says uh, lib i guess i'm gonna lib lber 2.4 cannot open file and all that stuff now you can see that there is no lib ssl but there is another two libraries you need to install basically um so you can look at what you have on your system as well if i do this command this is just to kind of give you an idea of uh, so as you can see, the newer instance on Debian 12 is 2.5.13, which is replacing the older one. So MS SQL, Microsoft SQL requires this, sadly. So we, as you can see from the error message here, right? So we got to put the libraries in. It took me a while to figure this out, uh, Googling it up and whatnot. So I was able to find some, so this is just basic instructions. I'll have it on the on the Dropbox and the links for you guys can have a read at it. Uh, what I'm going to do is to download first. Uh, we're going to go step by step. We're going to fix the first error message, which is this guy. Then when we do the start again, it will again complain about something else. So let's clear this. Uh, I'm going to go to home hashtag TNP. I'm going to create a folder called oh, make directory down cd down and that's where i'm going to you should do this as well because you'll need the path to it can be whatever location you can do it on the root as well if you want but make sure that this command so for example the next command is apt install uh you need to know the path where you downloaded this file so i just downloaded it in hashtag tnt down that's the command so you do apt install so apt install to wherever the folder wherever the file is that you downloaded and uh, don't be worried about this message that you'll see so it says and information denied uh, m stands for um, information only it doesn't mean that it actually failed the install so it says that the new package was installed successfully um, so now if you try to run sql server uh, you'll see what I was talking about, not the status. Let's start it up first. You start the server up. It says there was nothing there. No error message showed up, right? So, but if you go look at the status, it will show us failed. There you go. So it says it's failed. Now let's figure out why it failed. So we're going to run that command again to give us detailed. And then as I, as, as I mentioned earlier, instead of so this so if you look at the timestamps it's uh, 334 so 334 um that's this error message so this is where it's failing now so we're going to fix that by installing the other libraries the libssl library so this is uh, I would, so you can go to the site uh locate a bunch of libraries that you want for your instance so i was able to find the current one it uh, I believe this is the latest one at this time. Again, it's Debian 11, but uh, the previous one was Debian 10, as you can see, right? So, um, anyways, this works. So I'm sharing this with you guys. So we can break out of there. So ls, and we're going to do the fetch using wget. And I'm going to install. Uh, again, you have to do the apt, so that's why you need the path apt install. See, if I do lib ssl, it won't find it, so um, it's like looking at the root, so that's why you need to uh, know the path. So, home hashtag tnt down and lib ssl, that's what we just downloaded. 
and we can so again you'll get the warning message that hey permission denied so don't be worried about that don't panic about it it is working uh here's one thing that i noticed the the problem is is fixed but if i do this it's not going to start well technically it tries to it does start if you give it like five minutes or something but the easiest thing for me to do is reboot so please reboot after you have done this step where you've done the second install of the library so let's reboot and we're going to connect to it again in about a minute or so you can also wait for five minutes um, i don't know why it does that but it does that so sorry you have to do this uh, these instructions again from how to forge are pretty good it gives you uh, screenshots and everything i'll link to this site as well they're talking about some opening up some firewall port, firewall ports like 1433 if you want remote connections i also have the command here that uh, lets you enable that so let's open that uh is that 31 right 31 31 there you go thank you uh hashtag tnt Log in as super user. Um, I forgot for a second here. Clear that. Now, if I do the SQL Server install, or not the install, sorry, the start command, I will not uh, get any error message. I should technically see this on the status. So I'm going to close this window and we are going to start. And as you can see, no error messages. If I look at the status, it will give me this blah, 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 and then it's working. Again, like I said, I tried this yesterday. Today is October 9th, so there you go. Uh, the SQL Server is running just fine. If you want to look at the details, again, um, to get the, let's see, for the logs tell you, it says it's uh, working fine. It did whatever it needed to do, and here you go, and that's it your sql server is running now uh, now you can enable it uh, if you want it to start every time it reboots so your server restarts so you will need to enable a serve as a service so we just enable uh, ms sql as a service it will restart uh, with the server or it will start at the time off or whenever the server has rebooted uh now uh we'll need this you will need this too because uh you need to either enable remote um uh access uh i, I don't know how to go around this but uh, i also did the install for sql tools so let's just do that uh these are exactly the same copy from their website so then again apt update uh says so join we just bunch of Copy paste, no error messages, and then of course you have to accept the term. Yes, please. And that's it. Uh, now we are going to change the, um, as they can tell, tell that yeah, uh, we got to set the path for the application for the um, shortcut, I suppose. So so it's easy for you to kind of can just type in the command. So here we go and this gives you best the path so we're all good uh let's do the just a quick example of um the commands that you can run or how you should be running the commands you will run sql command and then you're going to put the password which was which we said please sub to my channel okay so looks like it wasn't just copy and paste that was a that was an issue so it's so again i'm typing it right so plz sub to my channel and it's not working so if you run into this problem as well uh just run the setup again uh when i say setup just run this command right here oh uh, you have to go back and this command right here so let's run that put the password in now oh, we have to stop it so let's stop this server for running it now we're going to run this command 
and we're going to do express again choose english as my language and now we're going to put the passwords please sub to my channel please sub to my channel and it's going to be in configure the sql and now if we start it up let's go start the server and let's try that command and let's try the password please sub to my channel and there you go i'm in as you can see and then now we're gonna i'm gonna show you what version it installed uh, so this is the this is the command so select version type go and you can see it's a microsoft sql server 2022 and it's up and running and quit you just type quit that's it guys so we have sql server installed if you like this video please guys share and like and i do appreciate it if you guys can subscribe to the channel it is much appreciated i will be doing an install for guacamole and i will be using the same server uh do the sql server setup and uh, database setup for guacamole apache guacamole uh this is i uh, might as well show you this guy uh this is the command to set up remote access to the again you have to open the firewall though if you have firewall installed to my i think i typed the password wrong here yeah so uh, please sub well, I think I typed it wrong again. No, no, good, it worked. And uh, so this allows you to say, for example, if a SQL management studio uh, outside the network or anywhere else you want to access it from, this is how you will set up remote access. Again, you have to like, type go, reconfigure. Uh, yeah, like just copy and pasting. Go that's it and then exit or quit so now i just enabled um, remote access on my database but you have to open 1433 firewall if you have it enabled on your server and again once again thanks a lot guys thanks for watching please do hit the subscribe button much appreciated. Please stay tuned for that Apache Guacamole 1.5.3 version install. It does have a bunch of issues with install as well. I have the fixes for that posted on that video or we'll be posting it on the video as well. So thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe. Take care.